everyone, welcome to this week's Trim Craft Tuesday video. This week I'm going to be showing you how to make this sort of uh, snail mail pen pal flip book slash ephemera storage folder. I'm kind of, I'm calling it both things because you can either keep it for yourself, keep it on your desk and store all your bits and bobs and die cuts in it, or it's really ideal to make as a flip book to send to a pen pal or send out as happy mail or anything like that. So a bit unusually, I'm actually sort of starting off with the end because I wanted to show you exactly what it is I'm making here. So you've got a good idea in your head as we go through what the uh, what the end goal is. So as you can see, I am using first edition Chasing Rainbows for this project. Works very, very well, very bright and colorful and rainbowy. So what you wanna do to create this is take your papers, you want an eight by 12 piece to start off with, and you're gonna need to use double-sided papers for this, not single-sided ones, because you're gonna see both sides of a paper. So take your eight by 12 piece, and then you wanna score it at two and a half, two and three quarters and three inches, then it's six inches, and then if you're like me and your scoreboard only goes up to eight inches, you're gonna have to turn it around like so and score again at two and a half, two and three quarters and three inches. And then once that is done, you wanna flip it over onto the longer side there and then score that at um, half an inch and a quarter of an inch. And I was just checking there to make sure I was doing it with the pattern the right way round. So what the scoring you're doing here needs to be at the bottom. So if it matters which way round your pattern is, do this at the bottom. I'm just showing you here with some pencil marks the bits that you need to cut off. So just cutting off this bottom little flap here, leaving tabs, those little tabs at the bottom need to be two and a half inches wide. So just cut that little bit off there. And then we need to mark the area for our pockets. Now pockets you can do at totally different sizes. I'm just showing you this one to start off with. So on that first little score line there, the one that's at three, I've marked I think two and a half inches down from the top, then straight across that half an inch there at the same level and then on the other side you want to mark just a little bit down I think I went down to three and a quarter inches so we've got a three quarter inch sort of slope and then you do that at the other side as well now as I said you can do different measurements obviously this is, this is just the one I'm doing for this particular page um, I did different sizes for each one of mine as well so cut along with those little lines you've created but across the little middle piece, that little half an inch that's got a score line in the middle, you want to sort of cut a little triangle into that, so down to that quarter inch score mark and then back up again. That just means that when you fold it in, you don't see a little bit of the foldy bit sticking out, because if you don't cut that triangle in, you just get a little bit sticking out and it just doesn't look quite as neat. And also if you round off those little points just with your scissors, then that finishes off it off quite nicely as well. Just erasing my pencil marks there. And then you want to score and burnish all your lines. So on the side one, you wanna fold in, then back out, and then back in again like that, burnishing each time. And then on the bottom tabs, it's exactly the same. So first score line in, second score line out. Not necessary to shake it all about. Though, I'm sorry, when I was doing the instructions in my head, I got the okie cokey in my head because of going in, out, in, out. Anyways, on the other side, bottom one, in, score, back out again. And then here we go again for the last one. So fold it in, burnish it, fold it back out again, burnish it, fold it in again, burnish it. And that's all the folding done. Now to adhere everything together, you wanna to put your tape on that very bottom little flap, that tiny little quarter of an inch little piece there. So use thin tape for this. I also suggest using red line tape just because it's the only thing that's gonna be holding them, the pockets together. So you want something strong. Then you wanna kind of fold the flaps over each other. So fold the long one in, um, into the pocket, fold the short one up above it and then um, fold it in on itself. I don't, probably didn't think I explained that very well. Here, I'm gonna do it again for you. So the long one, sort of fold it into the pocket like that, fold the other flap on top of that, and then turn it into, into the base there. You want to make sure, of course, that that bottom flap that you are sticking down is lined up with the bottom of the card there, and then just burnish it a little bit, make sure that is stuck down and your little pockets are complete, and then just finishing off by folding and scoring that middle line there to create the little folder, just because I find it easier to do all the other folding and stuff when, um, if, if that line hasn't been done yet, it just, it just makes life a bit easier. There is a truck outside making noise, do you mind? 
Anyways, so I've made five of those. I think you could get away with more. I think you could maybe do seven. I don't know about nine, but an odd number is the best to do just for the sake of, sake of stability. And then before you stick it all together and assemble the whole thing, it's best to decorate your little pages at this stage. So I'm not gonna show you loads and loads of the decoration just for the simple fact that you kind of already saw it at the beginning of this video. But as you can see, I am taking little bits and pieces from the Chasing Rainbows paper pad because this is one of the paper pads that comes with one of those tags or cut apart sheets. And I just, I love those cut apart sheets so much. I just kind of wish they were in every first edition pad. I'm not going to lie. So here I've got some of the round tags. I've punched a hole in them, put some twine on them, backed them with a little die cut circle. And I've just put in one of those on each of the front of the pockets. And then I can't remember what I do after this one. Oh, I take some of that mint sparkly paper and use a border punch to put a scalloped edge in it. And then I think I'm going to put that up the top of each one of those looks kind of like old shutters window shutters on there but yes the whole thing with the pockets by the way in case you're wondering why we did all of that scoring and stuff is because they now extend so it means you can put quite a lot of stuff in those little pockets as whether you're keeping it for yourself for your own storage or sending it to a pen pal you can just put loads and loads of stuff in there because the pockets extend you can get a little baggie or, and fill it with little bits and pieces a tiny little envelope fill that with a little bit of bits and pieces you can put more 3d objects in there like wood veneer or little resin pieces you know so just having that extendability of the pockets just gives you so much freedom about what you can actually put in the pocket so yes uh next one i'm just adding i just basically i add something to each one of the pockets um pretty much every one i'm just using something from the cut apart sheet and then backing every piece because i just think it looks so much better when you give something a backing or a border it just looks so much more finished and a little bit more I don't know, professional for want of a better word as you can see all the pockets as i said are made with different sizes it's fairly easy just to work out what kind of sizes you want to do. I personally think it looks better if the pockets on one little section are even like these ones but you could do different ones you could have one side really tall one side really short just play around with it you can play around with the measurements and stuff so what am I doing here I'm just making little little sort of banners just to stick behind the pockets just to add something a little bit interesting to this little section here. If you wanted to play around with the measurements as well, you know, make the thing smaller or bigger or whatever, then I think it would be really, really easy to do that and work it out. The only thing I would say is I don't think you can get much smaller on the width than 12 inches because I mean, those pockets are smaller than two and a half inches each one and that's with you know 12 inches of space so just saying I don't think you can go oh excuse me I've got a fro frog in my throat <laughs> yeah anyway I don't think you can go lower than 12 inches but obviously your project experiment how you want to so I think this is the final one that I show you how I decorate I'm just backing those little tags with some of the beautiful iridescent card from this paper pad finishing off with a couple of little circle tags in there and then I think I'm going to add something to the top of those as well oh yeah there's that um there's the ombre paper that has like little sentiments on so i'm sticking that and i've backed it with either the star paper or the polka dot paper i don't know something very colorful and just popping those up there like a little little banner just looks nice and finished i think with something at the top as well so with all of those done it is time to assemble i've put them in rainbow order just for funsies i mean i don't have a red or other colors of the rainbow but it's rain they're still in rainbow order so take your first one and turn it around and on the left side you want to add your tape or adhesive or whatever you're using like that and then pop the second piece on like so. I'm just showing you, I think I show you each one just to make sure like I'm showing you properly what I'm talking about because we all know I'm not very good at explaining things sometimes so that's on like that and then on the next one add your tape um, i'm burnishing the tape down as well just to make sure it's very very strong and on there and stuff and then i'm popping the next one on like so obviously just line it up go slow because if you if they go on wonky it's going to quite affect 
the the thing if it stands up and stuff and it just look a bit yuck. At this stage also you might want something heavy lying around just to sort of help keep things down because they'll start popping up at this point. So putting on the blue one there just slowly and carefully making sure everything is lined up and then finishing off with the last one here. You know I was fiddling around with my little weight so much there so yes just finishing off pop on the purple one Ooh, careful 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 and then that one is on like so and that is the thing pretty much assembled before we want to do the final stages though you want to decorate those sort of pages that don't have pockets on now if you want you can add little pockets onto there if you wanted to i'm just going to decorate them because they are sort of simultaneously both the front and back pages at the same time you, because you, either you can look at one on its own or you look at two of them at the same time. I'm decorating them in kind of the same way. So I've taken strips of this Dovecraft holographic card, which I just, oh, I love it so much. I just, I, I need another pack because I'm just, I do genuinely love it so much. I cannot talk about it enough. But anyways, yeah, I'm taking strips of that and adding some scallops into the edge with a border punch and just popping those on. Oh, there's me playing with the little scallops that came out of the punch because they were all holographic and fun and I was like this would make great confetti and then I realized it would be a bit hoardery for me to keep it so I did check it in the bin but it was it was fun to look at at the time and with decorating these I'm pretty much doing exactly what I did with the pockets I'm taking tags and things from the cut apart sheets backing all of them so again they look more finished and more complete and just putting a selection of those on the front and the back cover and the front slash back cover and then to finish it off, to make sure it stands up uh, when it's open, I'm using some dot and dab hook and loop dots, uh, adhesive ones, you can use Velcro dots, you can even maybe use adhesive magnetic strips if you've got those too. And then just popping those on those little front and back pages like so. So when you open it up and you can put those Velcro dots together and it stands up and you've got your little sort of carousel Thing to use up there and I'm just taking a little strip of ribbon here just to tie it off to finish it off so you can tie it up with a pretty bow um, ready to send to someone especially you'll need that ribbon if you really really filled it with things as well so I think that is it for this little video I hope you enjoyed it slightly different from me but I think I dreamt up this idea and I thought I'd must share it with you guys so yeah please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed all the links will be down in the description box chat to me in the comments and yeah i think i'm done thanks so much again Bye bye